Today I'm going to show you how to get the Bellowing Banshee Cutlass and Ship Set. With the addition of Adventures to Sea of Thieves, the devs have been changing minor details to the game, which they've always done to hint at updates, but normally they happen at a much slower rate. Now that Adventures have started, they're changing a lot of things and very frequently. Now most of these currently lead to nothing and are just hints for the future, but a few of them actually do lead to something. Now, first things first, I'm just gonna go over the clues we have. On Shipwreck Bay, if you speak to the NPC Grog Soaked Ed, they mention hearing strange noises and avoiding certain areas of the island, which I'm pretty sure is a recent addition to their dialogue. One of the shipwrecks on Shipwreck Bay has also been given a nameplate, which previously has only been given to tall tale relevant ships and the killer whale. The ship in question is called the Storm Chaser. Now to my knowledge, this is an entirely new ship and hasn't been mentioned in the lore previously. Now I'm not entirely sure when this one happened, but the Ghost Spyglass description has been rewritten. In season five, it was this. Now it's this. So they took out the part saying you can't see ghosts with it. They also gave it a greenish tint. I didn't use the Ghost Spyglass very often, so I'm not sure when this one exactly happened, but either way, it's important. And after this, I spent quite a bit of time looking around Shipwreck Bay, just recording shots in case they changed more stuff later, when I came upon two things. One, this chair isn't interactable, which every other chair of this design is, at least I think, which I thought was weird. And then over by this little skull pile thing, you can hear like faint kind of, I'm not really sure what this sound is, but here, you take a listen. <laughs> So I'm not entirely sure what this sound is, but it sounds like a person. Then we tried using the spyglass. If you use the spyglass and look at either of these spots, you'll see this. Phantoms. These phantoms don't seem to be aggressive and they disappear whenever you're not looking for the spyglass. Neither of them seem to react to anything at all. They don't have any dialogue and I haven't figured out any other way to interact with them, but they aren't the only phantoms on the island. Upon further investigation, on top of this rock spire, the highest peak on Shipwreck Bay, you can see this NPC, from far away anyway. Once you get close, this happens. Can you, can you see me? You can see me, can't you? It's so nice to speak with someone again. It's just been me and my crew here for days, or maybe weeks. A anyway, they aren't much for talking these days. Wait a moment. I recognize that spyglass. <gasps> You're one of Ramsey's legends, aren't you? Oh, so sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Captain Rainy Robert of the Storm Chaser. Or, um, former captain, anyway. M may I ask you a favor? Wait, wait, before you answer, let me <laughs> explain. You, you see, me and my crew were minding our own business here when suddenly a ship came hurtling out of the fog the dreaded banshee with her captain at the helm. It didn't take long. Before I knew it, me and my crew had all fallen by the captain's hand. You know, they say his sword is cursed. Anyone struck down by it is doomed to roam as a specter, never to reach the Sea of the Damned. <laughs> of course, I never believed the stories. Turns out they were true. Anyway, enough of that. The Banshee headed southeast towards Kraken's Fall. Please, legend, end their reign of terror, and don't let another soul meet my fate. Please. Please. Now with that, we immediately went to Kraken's Fall. Now, we were kind of lost on this island for a little bit, just kind of wandering aimlessly, until eventually we tried using the spyglass again and found the phantoms again, or a few of the phantoms pointing us this way, just literally pointing. <laughs> Once we followed them, we went to this cave where we found a cage skeleton with something glinting and a lever. Pull the lever, the skeleton lowers, and in their hands is this note. Now, this letter is a code basically, which leads you to N16, aka Crooks Hollow. We spent a bit wandering around this island again until we went into the cave system. Now, once we entered the caves, we heard this music. And music normally means we're getting close to whatever it is we're looking for. Now, deeper in the caves is this large room. This room has a campfire and a skeleton, which have pretty much always been there. But what hasn't always been there is this sword embedded in the skeleton's rib cage. Now once you enter this room, before you can get to the sword, 
this happens. Ah, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. I've heard it's cursed. Well, it looks like you've walked right into our trap. You should have heeded my warning, but now it's too late. I bet you weren't even paying attention to all the clues I left you. Do you know how long it took to put them all into place? Of course you don't. It's only been a few moments for you. But me, I've been waiting all year. You really should have checked the date. Anyway, happy April Fools, guys. <laughs> oh, did I get you? I hope I got you. Just to clarify, this entire video is fake. I made all of it. Anything you saw in it was photoshopped, basically. The audio, so like both Captain Rainy Robert and Captain One Eye or Captain One Eye Wither are both my voice. Uh, I hope I made them distinct enough. I was a little concerned you'd be able to tell it was me, but I, I hope they were good. I also quickly wanted to say big thank you to Tron, Norge, and Duck for helping me make this video because they were actually the phantoms you saw. These three phantoms, uh, Captain Rainy Robert and his crew, and it would not have been possible without them. So seriously, thank you guys. I also wanted to say next Friday, I will be making a video showing how I made this video. So if you're curious about the creation process of how this video came to be, uh, stay tuned. If you don't wanna miss that, you could subscribe and click the little, little bell too if you wanted. <laughs> I will also be putting it in the end cards, so it'll pop up on your screen in a few seconds if it's out. If it isn't, it won't be there for obvious reasons. This is also a tradition on my channel now. Uh, I make an April Fool's Guide like this every year. And if you wanted to watch last year's and tell me how much I improved, that will also be on the end screen in a second or two. Or maybe it's already up, I don't know. <laughs> also, if you wanted to help me fool more people, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, that'd be great. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week for the behind the scenes. Bye. <laughs>